Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This is John with Smart Home Mojo, and we're really excited to kick off this video. We've been waiting a long time for the next version of the Nest thermostat, and Google and Nest have just announced it late last week. Now the new Nest thermostat is on pre-order right now. And we'll provide links below to the new Nest thermostat and the others as well. It won't be available to ship until the end of this month, so that means when we get ours the first week of November, we're gonna do a full review and unbox of the new Nest thermostat and give you another video once we have that Nest thermostat in our hands. Now there's definitely some differences with the new Nest thermostat compared to the old Nest Learning thermostat third gen version. We're gonna cover that in this video. We're gonna talk about all the features and functionalities that we see in the new thermostat, but also we're gonna talk about some of the features and functionalities that we don't see being carried over into the new Nest thermostat. We're gonna cover all that right now. So don't go anywhere. There's lots to talk about with the new Nest thermostat. I'll be right back. Okay, now here is the new Nest thermostat. And as you can see, it does look quite different from the previous versions. The screen area seems larger than the third gen Nest. And this new version has a mirror display effect, as you can see, which looks pretty cool. Overall, the Nest is a bit larger in diameter, but not by much. The new version is also made of plastic and has no metal pieces like the older versions. There's also no rotating dial controls on the new Nest, but rather they are now providing a touch bar which shows up on the right side of the device. By tapping on the bar, you can bring up the menu and then also slide your finger up and down the bar to raise or lower the temperatures or to select other options within the menus. There are no controls on the left side of the thermostat at all. The touch bar is only on the right side of the Nest. In the picture on the left, you can also see what the new trim kit looks like, which comes in four colors to match the color choices of the Nest that you purchase, and we'll talk about that coming up. In these images of the black version of the Nest, you can see all angles of the device and the back of the unit as well. In the top left picture, you can see the touch bar on the right side of the thermostat. And then moving to the top right side, you can see the left side of the Nest, which has no controls at all. Now there is a microphone which is out of view right now, but it is located right down in the bottom underneath the front part of the Nest, which we'll show you later on. On the bottom right picture, you can see the back of the Nest, and you now notice that there are two slots for two external AAA batteries. The older Nest versions had an internal battery, which I never had to change, and from what I understand, was hard to do on the older Nest models. We'll come back at the end here and talk about all the colors of the new Nest thermostat and all the pricing as well. But now let's move on to begin to talk about some of the similarities and differences of the new Nest versus the third gen model. Okay, so let's start talking about all the goodies here. Here you can see an image of what the new Nest thermostat looks like compared to the old Nest learning thermostat. The new Nest is a little bigger and might have a little bit more screen real estate than the older Nest Learning Thermostat. Once we actually get the new Nest in and begin testing, we'll be able to give a better view once we get our hands on this new device. First off, both versions here boast the same savings of 10 to 12% on heating and 15% on cooling, and those stats come from independent studies. You will also receive the same monitoring and alerts on both devices. Now, these could be alerts from temps if they get too high or too low in the house, or also any alerts that involve any potential system or maintenance issues. Now come the differences. The first difference will be in how you control the Nest. With the new Nest, you will now switch over to the Google Home app to control the thermostat versus using the Nest app to control the prior versions of the device. One big difference in the new Nest thermostat is that Google dropped the learning functionality and the name behind it in the title. It's just called the Nest thermostat moving forward. Gone is the ability of the Nest to learn how you set temperatures and then create a schedule based upon how you set temperatures in the house. Now, I do believe there are more scheduling options in the new Nest that are made available to us, but we just don't know exactly what those are for a few more weeks until we can get our hands on the actual device and begin testing. The new Nest still works with 24 volt low voltage heating and cooling systems, but has dropped to work to about 85% of existing systems versus the 90% that we had in the Nest learning thermostat. Overall, the new Nest thermostat is still going to work with the majority of heating and cooling systems in all homes today. 
Now, a trim plate does not come standard with the new Nest thermostat, but is offered in four colors that match the four colors of the Nest. The additional price for the trim plate is $14.99, as opposed to the old Nest learning thermostats where you did get a trim plate included with the purchase of your learning thermostat. One of the features that I will miss, and is a big difference I think, is that the new Nest thermostat does not work with any of the existing Nest sensor devices that you may have scattered currently around your house. I have a few of the sensors now and will not be able to use them with the new Nest. As discussed previously, the new Nest is made of plastic versus a metal housing from previous versions, which is a big change in the redesign of this smart thermostat. The new display, as we mentioned, has a new mirror feature to it versus the prior displays, which had a high-res LCD display. Until we actually get that device in our hands, though, we don't know how clear or crisp that new mirror display will be. Gone also in this new feature is the Farsight feature. With Farsight, the Nest would wake up if you passed within a certain distance of the device and then display different information. That is gone now, but Google did build into their new Nest their Soli technology, which is their new motion sensing technology that they use with other devices and smartphones. The last difference I wanted to mention is in the warranty, which has gone from two years down to one year. Okay, that wraps up all the feature comparisons here. Let's take a closer look now at what screenshots we have that shows some of the new functionalities. Okay, in these screenshots, we can see exactly what the touch bar looks like and where it's located on the new Nest thermostat. By placing your finger on the touch bar and moving it up or down, you can adjust the temperatures. If you're in a screen that has multiple options, you can use the touch bar to move up and down and navigate between the options and settings within those screens. Here on the left hand side, you can see how the tap option would work and then you would move up and down to make selections in the menu. On the right, you can see how dragging your finger down can select other settings on the screen. Here you can see how the touch bar can be used to make changes in the mode settings, changing heat and air, fan, or schedule options. On prior models, we would be using the metal rotating ring around the Nest to make these changes, but on the new Nest thermostat, it's all about the touch bar. Let's take a quick look at some of the Google Nest app screens where you can make temperature changes by dragging your finger around the circle or by using the minus and plus signs at the bottom of the circle. On the right, you can see how the Nest app can create some schedules for you that you might want to use at different times throughout the day. Some of this functionality might be different using the Google app versus the prior Nest app. These screenshots show some of the features that are offered in the app, including heating and cooling alerts, setting default temperatures when you're at home, and also the popular home and away feature that uses your smartphone's geolocation, which is a very popular feature on the Nest thermostat. Okay, now let's get into the pricing. The new Nest thermostat starts out at $129, that's less the trim plate of $14.99, and will be released on October 30th. The prior Gen 3 model is still selling for around $249, so a considerable difference from the new Nest thermostat. The Nest thermostat E still goes for around 139, and I have heard that the E model might not be around for much longer, but it's still available today. Now, this is a really great price for the Nest thermostat at 129. I know there are a lot of changes here and looks and some features that we are losing, but we can't really do a complete review and assessment until we get the new device in in a few weeks. Now, if you want to place a pre-order like I've done already for the new Nest thermostat or place an order for either of the two other thermostats, I will place some links in the description below for you to do so. Here's a quick glance of what you'll get in the box. You'll get the new Nest thermostat, the base pictured over here on the left, and a set of two screws and two AAA batteries and some literature as well. You can see right here the microphone in the Nest that I mentioned earlier. This is for giving voice commands to the Nest thermostat using Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. Okay, and lastly, here are all the four colors that the new Nest comes in. The colors are black, sand, fog, and white. The trim plates that you can order as well match these four colors and again cost $14.99 in addition to the $129 price of the new Nest. That wraps up the initial look here into the new Nest thermostat. Let's summarize what we covered real quickly. Okay, let's recap what we covered here with the new Nest thermostat. 
The new Nest is available for pre-order now, and we have put links below in the description, and it will start shipping on October 30th. The new device sells for $129 with an optional trim kit for another $14.99. The new Nest comes in four different colors and has a number of different features from the third gen version and here are the top five. First off, the Nest is now made of plastic and not metal and has a mirror display versus an LCD display in the third gen version. Also, there's no more metal rotating bezel around the Nest but rather a touch bar to control the settings. The learning functionality of the Nest is gone, but there are additional scheduling features in the new Nest that we aren't completely aware of yet until we get the new Nest in-house for complete testing. Now, you cannot use the Nest sensors with the new Nest thermostat, and the Farsight technology is not being carried over into the new Nest. There is, however, Google's Soli Presence technology built into the new Nest, and we are eager to see how Google uses this technology in this version and also future versions of the Nest thermostat. So those are the top items to take away from our initial look at the new Nest thermostat. As soon as we receive our new device in about two weeks, we'll post another video within a day or so of receiving that Nest thermostat with a complete review of the new Nest. Until then folks, this is John with Smart Home Mojo. Thanks for watching today and we'll see you on the next video.